Hello and good day all my blessed people. Uh, as you probably can see in the rear, I am uh, no longer looking at studs. I got drywall up there. Talk about blessings, huh? Um, I'm going to just do a short one today and out of a couple of books. One of the reasons I've been missing in action lately, been busy doing some work on the medical and some work with real estate, but also just feeling not quite as connected as I was and wondering what was going on. And I read several books uh, every day about being connected with the Lord and the Lord and the Bible, of course. And uh, sometimes things just hit me right on path. I'm sure the Lord's speaking to me. But here's one I haven't shared with you before. It's called Greater by Stephen Furtick. And I'm going to read you some things that hit me a day out of that based on what I was just talking about. And it feels like, great, all that progress I was making was for nothing. I was doing so good, being intentional, really going after the greater things God has for me, then I slipped right back into the same lazy pattern I was in before. I lost my intensity and settled into a survival mode. I let the minor setback get me off path. Now I have to start all over again. He goes on to say, I have this happen multiple times a day. I eat too many carbs, or do whatever I feel like I've fallen off over. Hours at night interacting with the lesser life on Twitter <laughs> instead of making a greater investment for my family. Living for God is not like playing Nintendo. I don't have to go back to the start level where I made my mistake. Maybe that's it for this one. I'll be wrong. Oh, no, i got one more. But I've learned that the greater life isn't just about living the perfect life. It's about keeping your passion intact no matter what. Proverbs 24, 16 says, Through a righteous man falls seven times. He rises again. So I guess, again, what we're being told is, this is just normal. Well, let me get the next book, because it's going to spell out even better. And that's the one I shared before. Where can I get that from the camera? Jesus Calling. It's a daily devotional. And this is a couple days' worth in here. That it, i got some stuff highlighted here. Your main responsibility is to remain attentive to me, letting me guide you through the many choices along your pathway. This sounds like an easy assignment, and here's where I was headed with this, but it is not. Your desire to live in my presence goes against the grain of the world, the flesh, and the devil. However, you are on the path of my choosing, so do not give up. Hope in me, for you will again praise me for help of my presence. Next day, I guarantee that you always have problems in your life. But they must not become your focus. When you feel yourself sinking in the sea of circumstances, say, help me, Jesus, and I will draw you back to me. If you have to say that thousands of times daily, don't be discouraged. I know your weakness, and I meet them in the very place. So again, based on not only what I'm reading, but just my understanding of everything, I think Part of what happens as we draw ourselves closer to the Lord, the devil of the world rises up and throws in obstacles to try to keep us from letting that happen. Stay strong, my brethren, my brothers and sisters. All for the glory of God it is there. We can do this, and we are the ones to do it. Let's bring it out to the world. Show them your love. Show them your blessing. Show them your high and your greatness on the Lord. All for the glory of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank God well, we got him. You guys have a blessed day, blessed week, blessed month, and I'll be back next.